everybody. James Jagger with Tavern Response. I'm uh, just reading the directions. Like most of you, I only read the directions when something goes wrong. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm looking to see if I miss something. But what I found when I installed this a moment ago on the table was that it's got to be on the end of the table because the magazines are curved so they can go in there. If it's if it's on the table, uh, it won't. And uh, so I never thought about it like that because the AR-15, you can mount it wherever and the, the mags are straight enough that there's no issue. But with the AK, it's got to be mounted near the edge of the table. No big deal. I know now. I, I, I didn't. But I've loaded the hopper and you can't just throw the rounds in all willy-nilly. Now you can with the pistol loader, but not with the rifle loaders. The bullet's got to be pointed that way or that way not that way or that way um, and when it's real full kind of holding your hand on the top because it kind of pops a little bit as the next round goes down in the feeder um, kind of covering that will help you I brought a variety of magazines from different countries uh, mag pulls 20 rounders and 30 rounders and uh, and that one's already loaded so we'll go with an empty one how about that um, so I'm gonna put this mag pull in put it in uh, pointed down so like that and with the handle the, the biggest problem I see with most people is they try to like jet like like they try to do pressure up and down but basically just down and let go now when I push it down you can hear the round drop and so every time you hear that round drop another round is loaded into the gun now try to go fast with it that's when there's a problem so just just kind of get into a rhythm and it, but it doesn't it doesn't work on speed and you need to hold the lever down in my opinion you need to hold it down long enough for the round to drop or the rounds bind up um, and you can see the rounds jump around up here at the top like I said so push it down and hold it down until the rounds drop If you just wait. Okay, so, okay, the mag's loaded. <laughs> uh, got a little bit of room left in it. Okay, so there's a, a little a little jam in here. It happens occasionally, uh, not, not very often. Um, and like I said, I've never used a 762 before model, so I don't really know how 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 this I can see what's going on. I just can't get reach in there to <laughs> to do anything about it. And uh, it's probably on purpose, right? <laughs> okay, there it goes. So basically the uh, two two rounds got kind of for lack of a term, better term, they got caught up right here at this junction. Okay, now it's full. So when you kind of kind of feel it, the rounds stop dropping. Uh, that means that that's full. So uh, we'll try this uh, this twenty rounder in here. They seem to be falling through just fine. There's um. Like a, there's a there's cuts in the side of it, so you can kind of see the rounds fall down, and uh, working smooth. So it's gone into kind of a neutral. No round falling. Feels full. Another full mag. Um, I got a couple of metal ones here. And I know some of you guys, you AK fags, man, you can you can look at these things, these mags a mile away. And, oh, a mile away, I can tell you that's a, a such and such a mag or a such and such a mag. Uh, these appear to be from the same 
country, but not certainly not the same year of manufacture. There's a lot of difference on them. Hell, I don't know. I don't know where they're from. Now they got different followers in them, so I don't know. You guys, you guys know, but different followers. They're, they're from, if they're from wherever the hell those mags are from. So we'll try a couple of them. Let the hopper run dry. So I, I know you guys probably don't want to sit and watch me load mags all day, uh, but I think we're off to a successful start. With the AK loader, and it's funny, and I need you guys to back me up on this, okay? Because I'm going to send this to the mag pump people. Because I was at SHOT Show, I was at SHOT Show, and I said, I heard you guys have an AK loader. They said, yeah, we do. Uh, something to the effect of, but we think we're going to quit making it. And I said, why? They said, nobody, nobody buys them. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. I'm not using exact words. And um, I'm like, well, they ha and they had their display set up there at SHOT Show. And I said, can you show me one? They said, we didn't bring it. And... Uh, well, I mean, like, maybe there's a maybe there's the problem. People don't aren't buying it because they don't know you have it. So, what I told them was, there's a whole bunch of AK dudes out there that will like these. Now, the one I'm shooting, with well, the one I'm using is the, because uh, uh, they have different different kinds. This is the uh, least expensive one. Because um, they have like the Elite, the Pro model, and. Uh, I don't know. This one just says 76239 loader. Maybe maybe this one is the uh, maybe this is the only model of the AK one. I don't know. Um, but uh, but uh, but but Kyle Lamb likes them. <laughs> so um, so that's that. I need you guys to <laughs> I need you guys to make sure like post on this post on this video like that you want one you'd like to have one maybe not that you're buying it today i understand that maybe your finances aren't in order to buy one today but i want this thing to stay in production and i need you guys to I, those of you guys that want to buy one please go buy one those of you guys that want one say please don't stop making them i want to buy one and then do it then follow up on it but uh, as i film this um we're in the early spring of 2019 and uh, I want this thing. I want my students to have this, and I want I want it to. I want you guys to be have this available, because, dude, if you got a load a bunch of mags, this thing is, this thing is tits, man. It's it's great, and uh, so, so anyway, so so post up. Just say, hey, good, you know, I want one. You know, again, maybe you're not gonna buy it this week or this month. Maybe maybe not this quarter, but like, tell them that you're interested in it, because I, I want this thing to stay in production. And uh, so I've loaded several different kinds of mags, P mags, metal mags, and stuff like that. I don't see it having a problem. Never had a problem with the AR-15 one loading tons of mags. The pistol one I haven't used much, but I will this year as I take some classes and stuff like that. I just got the pistol one last year. So I'm taking, let's see, I've already trained with Farnham. I'm going to train with uh, Pat McNamara, the Sentinel class this year, Super Dave. Probably train with Costa again. I think he's scheduled to come back, and so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using all this stuff, and uh, I I dig it, you know. So <clears throat> that's that. I don't know what else to say other than that the original mag pump that I I got. It's it's been years, maybe four years or something like that. I don't know, but I got a mount on the tailgate of my truck, and there is no telling how many rounds have been loaded and i believe that the model i have which was the original one that's a metal one i'm sorry i can't remember if that's now the pro model or the elite model but it, but it's great but this one is this one's polymer and it seems to be fine i don't i don't think that i don't know i don't i don't know that i don't know that you need the elite or whatever but 
But I know that Elite has loaded a bunch of damn magazines. So, I can't think of anything else to say, really, um, about it. I'm going to load some mags here. This is James Jacob for Tactical Response, reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.